Hello out there to all you survivors, saviors, and fiends. Here's another story that's been told once or twice, and we plan to tell it again and again. So sit back, relax, and lose yourself in these backwards echoes. Transmission 519-X60. I'm not sure if anyone is following these broadcasts, but if I've reached you again, I have really exciting news. Exciting for me. Dolly, anyway. we have company. Go ahead and try Come it down out. and say hello. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, coming. Apparently very heroic, from what Lita tells me. Sounds that way. Well, speak of the devil. There's a little hero now. Uncle Topher, what are you doing here? Oh, just delivering a little something to show our gratitude. You're gonna flip. So jealous. Oh, hush. You've got one already. Yeah, but hers is much prettier. Shh! You're gonna ruin the surprise. What is it? Why don't you and Lita run up to your room? Your uncle and I need a moment of privacy to discuss this surprise. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know what you shall even have for it. Well, I think it's high time she had her own. Do you think I'm incapable of providing for my own daughter? What? A man can't show appreciation for his niece? <laughs> oh, calm down, baby brother. You've got to cut the cord sometime. Ugh, your room is so spec. I wish mine had windows. <laughs> you couldn't just ask your dad? Oh, we haven't seen each other much lately, huh? Which I totally forgive you for, by the way. You're the one who- Kidding, doll! I know. <sighs> it was maybe a little my fault. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? I don't think I heard right. It sounded like you just- I said it was my fault, all right? So, like, are you still mad at me or what? I should be. But you're not anymore? I don't know. I'm less mad, I guess. You want to talk about it? Not really. <sighs> well, I really am sorry. Yeah, I know you are. Anyway, I can't ask my dads to install windows in my room because... Well, I've decided to move back down to Earth. Without them. What? Why? And how? Living with your parents kind of sucks, right? I mean, I guess you know that. All my friends say it's cheaper, but... So does that mean you have a boyfriend or something? <laughs> oh my god, no. But then, how did you... Patriarchal release slip. Dad Rodney was actually proud of me, if you can believe it. Oh. My dad would never pay for me to live on my own. I'm paying for it myself. Sure, the broken leg isn't great for the instructor gig, but the last tournament I won had a pretty sweet cash prize, so I should be set until this heals up. I got a part-time job, too. Just be careful, okay? Maybe avoid the underground? <laughs> yeah, not exactly in a hurry to go back. You know, that sounded like something someone who's not mad at me would say. Maybe someone who wants to come see my new place this weekend? Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Oh my god, the place has the most insane staircase. Let me show you, I took pictures. Oh, uh, don't... Oh, what's this? Getting back in the swing of making videos? Hmm, maybe. I don't know yet. I found this weird recording from this girl. She says she's from the future. So it's like... a drama? That's Maka. They're still making those? Actually, don't laugh, but... I think she might be the real deal? Which is so totally silly, I know, but... It's not completely outrageous, is it? Feels like there's always some new cutting-edge tech thing popping up, right? <laughs> what, you think the next True Lens update is gonna come with 12G interdimensional time-space connectivity? I'm not saying I believe it with no questions asked. I'm just saying something about her is really authentic. 
All right, all right. So you gonna let me hear it or what? Oh, um, I guess just promise not to tell anyone. I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet, but I don't want anyone else to beat me to it if it turns out to be big. I promise. Seriously, not even your dad's. I said I promised, didn't I? Fine, fine. I did it. I really did. Myra sat down next to me just before the bell. My mouth did that thing I mentioned where it kind of moves on its own and... Do you have a partner yet? I mean, she hasn't said whether it's a partner project, but it's always a partner project, so I kind of assumed she... You want to be my partner? Yeah, if that's okay. Totally. Want to start working on it after school today? Best to get a head start, I always say. My place or yours? Um, let's do yours. Cool. I think my dad's working late tonight. I mean, he usually does. Good morning, class. I hope you've thought a bit about your assignment. Because today, we'll be choosing partners for the initial... See you tonight. She came over at about six, just as the sun lamps were starting to dim. Wow, this place is so... rustic. (laughs) That's generous. Which one's your room? It's at the end of the hall. But, uh, we're painting it right now, so we can't go in. We weren't. It's just my room is so gross it even bothers me sometimes. Come on. We can work in this room here. Oh, it's so empty. Yeah. It used to be my grandpa's study. My dad cleared it out a few years ago when he died. Shame you couldn't see it when everything was still here. It was really something. I'm sure it was. I guess it was modeled after grandpa's old office. He had these mahogany shelves, and I swear he must have polished them every day, because the place always smelled like lemon oil. Oh, and there was this big red chair that sat over there by the window, and this huge lamp with all these green glass beads hanging from it. I used to call it the tree light, because it kind of made it feel like like I was outside again. Uh, sorry, I've been talking a lot. It sounds really cozy. And it totally still smells like lemon. It's, uh, it's cool that you have such a good memory. Well, that's one of the weirder compliments I've received. Uh, you're welcome. I was gonna thank you if you gave me a second. Sure you were. (laughs) (laughs) Um, so which book should we do? That's the question, isn't it? Hard to decide without actually having read any of them. One day. For you, maybe. They'd never let me be a friv. Why do you say that? Well, for one thing, there's no way I could ever afford the tuition. For another, I talk too much. Even if I got in, it wouldn't be long before they kicked me out, right? I mean, you just have a lot to say, right? So you keep saying it. I guess you could put it that way, sure. Whatever. I tried to keep my face totally blank, but I kind of panicked a little. It was like, did she know? She was looking at me like she knew. God, that would be so embarrassing. So, uh, fingers crossed these recordings are going where I meant to send them, I guess. I didn't mean to upset you. Nah, don't worry about it. It's not like I want to be one. You sure? Dunno. I never really thought much about it. Uh, anyway, you never told me why you wanted to try for Friv. Honestly, this list right here. Like, the summaries they put in journals are okay, but there's something about experiencing the whole story from start to finish, you know? So I'm going to read them all. As many as I can, anyway. There's nothing you want to write for yourself? Hmm, not really, no. It might be nice to do the summaries for the weekly ration myself, I guess, but mostly I just want to (sighs) read. Seems like a waste to do all that work just to tell people about books they could read themselves. (laughs) Some of the books I've heard about, I doubt they'd ever let a non-friv read again. Well, you pick then, Miss Expert. If you started the friv track today, and all you had to do was read, which one of these would you start with? I've heard Lord of the Rings is really long. It was written right after the Second World War. (laughs) Miss Eva would love that. Hundreds and hundreds of pages, and we still have a Third World War a hundred years later. That sounds like our angle, don't you think? 
I guess it could be. You don't sound so sure. It just sounds wicked depressing. Yeah, well, I think that's what she wants, so... So what? We should just do it because some old lady snapped her fingers at us? It's not like I like it any more than you do. But if I am going to get accepted for the Friv track after high school, I really have to be careful about what I write along the way, you know? Well, fine. Sorry. Don't be. I guess there is one thing I'd like to write, though. If I thought anyone would read it. There's this book I've read, oh, probably about 50 times now. Girls. It's called... Dad, at least knock. Can we come out now? Yes, yes. Topher is waiting outside with his surprise. Ooh, yes! Girl, you're gonna flip. Ta-da! Oh my god! You like it? I... I love it! Are you sure? I mean, they're so expensive. Well, my little Lita's life is priceless, so it really was the least I could do. I know you felt cooped up here lately. No better cure for that than Earth's nightlife. Still can't be beat, even in the colonies. Yes, well, there will be rules to consider. Oh. Well, of course. It takes some getting used to, but I'm sure Lita can teach you. She's the best pilot I know. It's nothing, really. She's got a newer model, so I'm sure it'll handle better. At least I hope so. I'm thinking of upgrading my pod once I get settled in the new place. Um... Does this mean I can do that thing we talked about the other day? That thing being? You know, me maybe training to be a weatherman? Uh, I thought we had settled this. No, you said you'd give it some thought and we'd talk about it later. It's later. (laughs) I still can't see for the life of me why you'd want to waste your life living on Earth as a common worm. Humanity has become interplanetary. What have they got down there that we don't? I'm not talking about living there. Just working there. Now and then. It's really not that bad down there. She could just stay above ground at my- Just because you can handle it doesn't mean she can. And why couldn't I exactly? I am very proud you want to work, princess. But you're just so delicate. It's very physically demanding. You already have your broadcasting. I would think that keeps you plenty busy. Which was your idea. Well, you're just so much more suited to it. And it's been great for our expansion. (laughs) Just like you, baby brother. You think the whole world's an office. Dad, come on. You weren't there to see the collapse. I was. And I really think that... Yes, I heard all about it from that Frankie boy. Seventy casualties. That's a three-month high, you know. Have you ever actually seen the Weathermen in action? They're so brave. I've never seen anyone work so hard, and they worked so well together. I mean, they're the reason Lita's still here. She does have a point. Yes, well, she's hardly in one piece, is she? I know on paper it looks bad, but it would have been way worse without them down there in the trenches. Dolly... The data doesn't lie. They are insufficient and obsolete. Or have you already forgotten the way they failed our family when we needed them most? Says her. I haven't. But was it really their fault? There were so many others. They can't possibly protect everyone. It was their duty to prevent what happened, and they failed. What's more... As you saw this past week, they will continue to fall short. Someday, when you're running this business, you'll see how concerning this pattern really is. As leaders of the geoengineering movement, we have certain obligations we must fulfill. I'm not even sure how much longer their service will be necessary. Well, that's... Maybe this is how I can help. It's not suitable for a girl your age. What about... Ah, what about continuing Kiefer's work, hmm? I can't replace Kiefer, Dad. No one can. Besides, I want to be out there. Really out there, making a difference I can see, you know? Dolly, no. It's entirely too dangerous. 
But Dad, that's You're not- You're the only successor I can trust to understand our mission when the time comes. I've invested too much in your development to let you go and get yourself killed. Oh. I see. God forbid something happen to your precious investment. Perhaps we should take our leave. Rodney's making tamales. I'm sorry. We're being terribly rude. You haven't even told me what this mysterious mission is. How am I supposed to- Enough! Now is not the time. Could I at least visit HQ again? Now that I have my own pod? Just- just to learn the day-to-day operations? I- I gotta know what I'm dealing with when I'm ready to step in on the board, right? Oh, or maybe I can help with that new technology you mentioned, huh? Field testing it or something? That project is entirely confidential, and I'll kindly ask you not to eavesdrop on my meetings. As for the rest, Dolly, if something were to happen to you, I... As your father, I simply can't allow it. Mom would have let me. Ah, well... uh, Goodbye, then. I'll call you. Apologies again. This conversation is over. Do not ask about this again. Do you understand? Yes, Father. Damn. Of course they'd call now. (sighs) We'll talk about the ground rules for that thing your uncle left later. Go. Hello there. What can I do for you? Awfully late, isn't it? Is everything all right? What do you mean something's fallen out of alignment? I just got the transmission the other day. Well, where were we? Excelia's Gambit. It's so romantic. There's supposed to be a sequel, but no one's seen a copy in at least eight years. Honestly, it's a miracle my copy survived. It wasn't very popular when it came out for some reason. I'd love to read it sometime. Well, if you promise to be super careful with it, I can lend it to you. Really? You have it? Are... are you sure? Well, yeah, or I wouldn't have offered. Besides, you know how lonely it is to read the greatest book ever and have no one to talk to about it? How fast do you read? Depends on how good the book is. So I guess this ought to be a quick one, huh? Definitely. But anyway, backing up, I'd like to rewrite the sequel. Or or write a new one, I guess. It just can't end where it does, you know? I know what you mean. My grandpa read me a book like that once. I can't remember what it was called, but it always felt like I'd been dropped in the middle of a story instead of the beginning. Anyway... I just wish we could read King of the Rings or whatever before tearing it apart in front of the whole class. Actually, maybe we can. How do you figure? Oh, well, you know, we could always visit the city library. If you're hearing this before the collapse of the dome system, you probably don't know about the tunnels. They connect most things in our cities. But in some places, the Earth kept collapsing. Eventually, we just sort of gave up on rebuilding. So there's some places in the city where you kind of have no choice but to travel above ground, exposed to the elements and everything that comes with them. Dad would absolutely lose his shit if I went. Uh, I don't know. Are we even allowed in? There's limited public access to the fiction collection. Anyway, if they don't have that one, they're bound to have at least one of the others, right? And you're sure you know the way there? It's not tough to figure out. Get this. I found a route that actually passes through some trees. I mean, honest to God, trees! That sounds awesome. It is pretty awesome. There might even be sunshine if we're lucky. She was insane. And I loved it. So what do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. Give me just a moment. I'm getting into my office now. Ah, yes. The girl was named Everly. The surname was censored, it seems. Everly? That's impossible. The signal came from one of our boxes, didn't it? 
so she'd have to be one of our weathermen. Well, no, I suppose I didn't. I'll have them track down who it was issued to first thing tomorrow. Rest assured, she's as good as forgotten. We will find her, and we will correct this immediately. Not if I find her first. These Backwards Echoes is written and directed by Stina Carey and produced by Rock Voice Productions, LLC, in collaboration with Joyride Entertainment. Intro and outro narration by Autumn Ivy. Lunette AI, voiced by Autumn Ivy. Everly was voiced by Emery Chase. Cesare was voiced by Jacob Dillon. Dolly was voiced by Stina Carey. Lita was voiced by Danuta Marie. Topher was voiced by Sam Joe Ryan. Mira was voiced by Meredith Nudo. Original music composed by Michael Payevich. Audio editing performed by Zach Elliott. Promotional art created by Paws. Links to the cast and crew socials can be found in the show notes. You can support this podcast and our other creative projects by becoming a patron over on the Joyride Entertainment Patreon, as well as subscribing to the Joyride Entertainment and Rock Voice Production YouTube channels. Also, make sure to follow us on Twitter so you never miss a transmission from the future. And thank you for keeping Joyride's engine burning.